The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. Today, we're mixing vocals in FL Studio. The plugins that I'm going to be using are all stock ImageLine plugins that you already have in FL Studio. And we're going to use them to go through these recordings and process lead vocals, doubles, and ad-libs. The song that you're about to hear is a new track by Kara titled Work. And we have all the vocal recordings here stacked up below the instrumental on the FL Studio timeline. Let's take a listen to the music. I put that work in, so I'm a work in. I put that work in, so I'm a work in. I put that work in. This is what the vocal so recording sound like. Work in. I, work in, I put yeah. the work in, so I'm a work in. Yeah. When I mix vocals, I like to have a template or a chain or some sort of preset that gets my compression, EQ, reverb, and delay started so I don't have to waste that time just loading up plugins. And my favorite shortcut for that in FL Studio is the patcher. I've created my own preset here in Patcher, which I'll include a link to in the description below called FL Studio Vocal Sauce. And this works a lot like a plugin where you have eight simple controls for EQ, compression, harmonic saturation, reverb, and four different delay breakdowns just to get you started. The beauty of this is underneath the surface, there's actually a huge collection of image line plugins all working together to make this vocal template consolidated down into one simple insert. Now this preset actually comes with a 27 minute course that shows you exactly how all these plugins got set up. And today I'm just gonna walk you through how I would adjust them and actually use this preset to mix a vocal. So if you'd like to get your hands on FL Studio Vocal Sauce, there's a link in the description, but let's jump into actually mixing with this preset. I'm gonna go back to the surface and let's take a listen to what we have yeah. I put the work in, so I'm a work it. yeah lights camera action it's a big reaction it's gonna turn this level down a little bit and who is that who's that I'm the baddest they gotta let them have it let's try adding some reverb with savage and winning is a habit yeah work 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 quarter note delay work 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 I put the work in so I'm a work This saves you a lot of time in loading up an entire collection of plugins while still giving you the flexibility to make creative decisions on the fly. So that's the quick way that you could do it, but let's actually dive in below the surface and go through what's actually happening here. The first thing this vocal is getting is some low end control. I have a low cut here that's actually attached to this knob on the surface, as you can see. All of these are attached to the most useful controls that I think within this chain. If you want to go in and actually fine adjust this to your vocal, maybe we could allow a little bit more bass back in. And I like using this low shelf to control how warm the voice feels and the low cut to control the frequencies that you don't want in there at all. If you feel like your voice sounds too thin, push this up. And if you feel like your voice sounds muffled and too bassy, try pulling this down. I put that work in, so I'm a work in. I put that work in, so I'm a work in. I put that work in, so I'm a work in. I put the work in, so I'm a work in. Next, we have the Fruity Blood Overdrive. And this is doing a similar thing to what a preamp would do, providing a little bit of harmonic saturation. Another way where you can choose if your vocal sounds too bright or too warm. I feel like this could use a little bit more warmth. I'm gonna pull the color to the left a little bit. I also pull the gain down a little bit. I put that work in, so I'm a work in. I put that work in, so I'm a work in. I put the work in, so I'm a work in. Yeah. Lights, camera, action. It's a big reaction. And now we have compression. Just to give this vocal a little bit more dynamic squeeze. I'm the baddest. I gotta let them have it. And I'm having super savage. I'm winning is a habit. Yeah. And just so these other vocals don't distract us from the lead, I'm gonna grab my ad-libs and pull them down a little bit, as well as the doubles. That way the beat still feels like the loudest thing in the mix. And while we're in here, I'm also gonna kind of take these out of the way of the lead vocals and just add some panning. I like having my doubles panned hard left and right and my ad-libs just panned a little bit left and right. And who is that? Who's that? I'm the baddest, I gotta let them have it. And I'm super savage. 
savage And winning is a habit, yeah And let's just take a listen to what this sounds like before and after the chain and then we'll keep going through it. Lights, camera, action, it's a big reaction. And without everybody asking, who is that? Who's that? Back I'm on. the baddest, you gotta let them have it. Super savage, Off. and winning is a habit, yeah. Work, work, on. Work, I work it, yeah. Work, I work it, work, work, I work it, I put that work in. So we've gone through EQ, a little bit of coloring with overdrive. Compression to control the dynamics. Now let's go to a plugin that's a little bit mysterious, but also a lot of fun to use. And that's the Sound Goodizer. Very similar to how the Blood Overdrive gives you brightness options. These A, B, C, and D options focus this plugin on either lower or higher frequencies as you move to the right. Work it, so I'ma work it. I put that work in, so I'ma work it. I put that work in, so I'ma work it. And just a little bit of sauce with the sound goodizer is all this vocal needed. Next, we have it going into a fruity multi band compressor. And this is here just to do some mid range control. Turn the ratio up for a little bit more. Or more mids. So this is controlling compression just in the mid-range. I find that's always the most harsh frequency in vocals, and the ratio knob is basically going to be your amount knob here in the multiband. As you can see, I have the high and low end compression bypass, so we're really just focusing it here on the mids, and that's all I really need from this plugin. And then finally, we have it going into a Maximus, which is offering a de-essing preset, which I actually got right here, the de-ess or narrow band. Yeah. We can pull the compression I'm threshold the down here. Gotta let them have it. Super savage. Winning is a habit, yeah. For more DSing. Do your 808s sound like floppy trash? Are you tired of boring bass lines that just don't hit right? Introducing Disrespectful 808s, the all new collection of 808 bass samples so disrespectful you might just get offended too. Disrespectful 808s is available now only at Holoops.com. Boom. So as you could hear, we're adding a lot of crispiness and control to the vocal, but in a very natural and subtle way. As you can see, none of these plugins are doing a huge adjustment, but when you put them all together in a sequence, it ends up making a really big difference. So back to the surface of the plugin, this is where we really get to play around and do some automation. For example, you might want to have different low cut settings for different parts of the songs. Maybe you want the intro to be thinner and the verse to have all of its bass. So I'm just going to right click on this knob and create automation clip and that automatically creates a low cut automation point that we can then use throughout our entire song to make different low cut values. Move this first one up. Or you can have it go back down like this. And you just right click on here to create a new automation point. So now we have more of a filtered vocal in the intro. So I'm a work it. I put that work in. So I'm a work it. I put that work or we could stretch this out through the whole song and do different automation points throughout the whole song. And we've got some low cut automation that gives us little variations in how our lead vocal sounds between thinner or more natural sounding. Let's go back into our sauce and see what else we can automate. Let's try doing some reverb. I'm going to right click, activate, and then create automation clip. And let's drag this reverb all the way down for the whole song. And let's just pick a few spots where we want it in there. Like for sure in the outro, some reverb is going to help. And probably for the intro too. And then we'll have the rest of it pretty dry. That'll just be like a special effect to make the intro and outro feel a little bit more pushed back. And have it end right here where the hook starts. And this little break section right here can have some reverb too. We're just using this to create contrast between the different sections of the song. 
And that's really what vocal mixing is all about. Because while we started from a preset, we started from a template, I guess you could call it, what we're left with is completely customized to our song. Savage, winning is a habit, yeah. Let's go and add some delays now. I'm going to right click and activate this value, create automation clip. I'm actually going to do the same for the eighth note delays and the slap delays. But let's go in and actually do some automations. You can see all these clips are labeled, so we could just do the same kind of automation where we just turn it up where we want to hear it. So I'm a working. Put that work in, so, I'm a so let's do just like the reverb, let's do it in the intro. And I'm also going to turn some slap delay up for this too. They'll have it get just a little bit drier in the verse, but not too much, just a little bit. I really like the way this sounds, and especially because this is kind of like an outer space themed song, which by the way, I'll put the lyric video in the description too if you want to watch the full music video thing. Working, so I'm a working, yeah. Lights, camera, action, it's a big reaction. It's a cool little effect. Everybody asking, who is that? Who's that? I'm the baddest, they gotta let them have it. And back down. I put that work in, so I'm a work I put that work in, so I'm a work I put that work in, so I'm a work I put that work in, so I'm a work Yeah, they say what you do from none. I'm actually going to keep the slap echo up and then have it get quiet later over here. And let's turn some eighth notes on for this chorus just to switch it up. Maybe I'll turn the reverb down for this last effect. So it's not so wet sounding. And as you can see, these effects are bringing this vocal to life, giving the different sections of the song meaning, like this eighth note we reserved for the final chorus and the outro. Reverb doing little accents during the intros, outros, and transitional parts. So that's a great way to process your lead vocals. Let's repurpose this chain to process our doubles and ad-libs. So back into the mixer here for doubles, and let's again do patcher. Oops, oops, that was the master sauce. Save that for a different video. But that's also available at Whole Loops in the FL Studio bundle. Let's go ahead and make a variation of this just for our doubles. I don't want to have any delays in the doubles because I want that to be special to just the lead vocal. So the stock preset is actually going to work really well. I might just add a little bit more low cut to it. And let's do the same thing here on the other double. The only thing I want to adjust here inside the chain is giving these a little bit less brightness. So I'm gonna turn this band seven into a low pass filter, and I'm gonna filter these away at about 10K. And I'm gonna do that same adjustment to the EQ on the other double. Doesn't have to be the same exact number, but the same idea helps. Low pass, we'll do these a little brighter, like 11. And let's do the same for our ad libs. We're gonna do a slightly different variation of the chain where we're gonna have a lot of quarter note delay and a lot of reverb and a lot more low pass filter than we did before. I might actually leave it right around where the default setting is. About 5K. You can also copy and paste this by just clicking and dragging here onto channel seven, same thing. And you can see it kept the knob positions. 
Might just put a slap delay on this one. Maybe even some half note delay too. the volume of these ad-libs down a little bit more. That's my favorite for a little word. And as you remember earlier in the video, we panned these out just a little bit. I always find it a really great shortcut to have some ad-libs on one channel and some on another channel so they can kind of bounce back and forth between the left and right ear. So now that we've got this vocal completely sauced up with FL Studio Vocal Sauce, let's take a listen from the top and see how far we've come. So I'ma work it, I put that work in, so I'ma work it, I put that work in, so I'ma work it, I put the work in, so I'ma work it, yeah. Lights, camera, action, it's a big reaction, and let's turn it off. everybody asking, who is that? Who's that? I'm the baddest, they gotta let them have it, I'm super savage, and winning is a habit, yeah. Are moving. I put that work in, so I'ma work it. I put that work in, so I'ma work it. I put that work in, so I'ma work it. I put that work in, so I'ma work it. Yeah. They say what you do from nine to five. I'm a boss. Hitting me up Back for to a the piece of pie. I'm the sauce. I be barking with the big dogs. Always hungry, never hit pause. I put that work in, so I'ma work it. So there you have it, how to mix lead vocals, doubles, and ad-libs using FL Studio Vocal Sauce. If you want to get your hands on this preset, I'm going to put a link in the description. And again, this preset comes with a complete course on how it's set up from scratch in Patcher. My name is Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the Game, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out. Yeah. Hey. That's my favorite for a little word. That's saucy. Do 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 do